Reveal the tremulous unrest beneath Campi Flegre, one of Earth's most unstable supervolcanoes. An active volcano west of Naples has a tough layer about two miles beneath the surface that traps volcanic gases deep beneath the caldera floor, according to new research. A weak crust deep beneath the base of Campi Flegre in Italy is causing the caldera to experience periods of earth-shaking tremors, new research finds. The layer is between 1.8 and 2.5 miles, 3 to 4 kilometers deep, according to new research published April 5 in the journal AGU Advances. It's made of a rock called Tuff that has been weakened by multiple magma intrusions over tens of thousands of years. The Tuff, a lightweight rock made of compressed volcanic ash, acts like a sponge for volcanic gases rising from a magma chamber at least 7.5 miles 12 kilometers beneath the surface. When these gases begin to fill the pores in the Tuff, they cause the rock to deform and even break, creating earthquakes. The findings could explain the source of Campi Flegre's periodic periods of unrest, said study leader Lucia Papillardo, a senior researcher at Italy's National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology, ANGV. The research is part of a larger project aimed at better predicting eruptions at Campi Flegre, also known as the Flegrean Fields and located west of Naples. About 500,000 people live in the area that would be inundated by pyroclastic flows of boiling ash and gas if the caldera erupted, according to Italy's Civil Protection Department. Campi Flegre has been erupting for at least 47,000 years and last erupted in 1538. However, the volcano has been experiencing significant periods of upheaval, one of which has been ongoing since 2005. During these periods of upheaval, the region shakes with frequent earthquakes, most of them small. One of these small quakes caused a wall to collapse at the historic site of Pompeii on Thursday, June 5, according to news reports. Papillardo and his team wanted to understand how the structure and strength of the rocks beneath the caldera contribute to volcanic activity. They used rocks drilled decades ago from deep within the caldera's core and performed a series of scientific analyses. They characterized the minerals and elements in the samples and also performed a process called 4D computed X-ray microtomography, which allows them to observe the structure of the rock samples as they are compressed to the point of cracking. This provides information about the strength and mechanics of the rock, study co-author and INGV researcher Gianmarco Buono told Live Science. When the researchers performed this test on samples from different layers of rock, they found a weak, tough layer. This was unexpected, Papillardo said. Using computer modeling, the researchers found that this layer likely trapped multiple magma intrusions or dikes over thousands of years. These intrusions heated and deformed the rock, weakening it. The researchers are now working to understand how material from the magma chamber within the caldera could have risen to the surface, leading to an eruption. But while the caldera is shaking frequently, there is no indication that a major eruption is imminent, Papillardo said. At the moment, our monitoring systems are not recording any parameters that could indicate magma movement, he said. So an eruption is unlikely in the near future.